Welcome back to Military Macheshk. This is Entro, and today we're diving into the jet that could reshape the future of air combat, the Bay Systems Tempest. When we think about the most advanced fighters in the skies today, names like the F-35 Lightning II or the Eurofighter Typhoon usually come up. But the Tempest is aiming for something entirely different. This isn't just another fighter, it's a sixth generation platform, designed not only to compete with future rivals but to define the very standard of air superiority in the 2030s and beyond. The Tempest program was officially revealed in 2018, launched by Team Tempest, which brings together Bay Systems, Rolls-Royce, Leonardo, and MBDA, with the full backing of the UK government. Since then, other nations like Italy, Japan, and Sweden have joined the project, making it a truly international collaboration. The goal, to bring the Tempest into service by the mid-2030s as the direct successor to the Typhoon. So what makes the Tempest different from anything we've seen before? For starters, it's being built with an open systems architecture. That might sound technical, but what it really means is flexibility. Just like you can update apps on your phone, the Tempest will be able to integrate new weapons, sensors, and software without a full redesign. This keeps the aircraft adaptable to threats we can't even predict today. Inside the cockpit, pilots won't just see traditional displays. They'll be working with augmented and virtual reality interfaces. Instead of looking at panels or fixed screens, pilots will have information projected directly into their helmet visor, giving them a 360-degree augmented view of the battlefield. This boosts awareness and drastically cuts reaction time in combat situations. But here's where it gets even more futuristic. The Tempest will be able to fly manned or unmanned. A pilot can control it directly, but if the mission is too dangerous, it can also fly remotely or fully autonomously. And it won't fight alone. The Tempest is being designed to work alongside loyal wingman drones, unmanned aircraft that can scout ahead, carry weapons, or even jam enemy radar. Imagine a swarm of drones working together under the command of a single Tempest. That's the vision of air warfare in the future. Stealth is another key element. The Tempest is being shaped with advanced materials and coatings to make it nearly invisible to enemy radar. But stealth in the 2030s won't just mean avoiding detection, it will mean controlling the electronic battlefield. The Tempest is expected to jam and confuse enemy sensors, project false targets, and dominate through electronic warfare as much as traditional firepower. Speaking of firepower, the Tempest will carry the latest missile systems from MBDA, but it's also being prepared for something even more advanced, directed energy weapons. Lasers could be used to take down incoming missiles or even disable enemy aircraft. This requires an immense amount of onboard power, which is why Rolls-Royce is developing a next-generation adaptive engine. This engine won't just provide thrust, it will also generate the electrical power needed to run advanced sensors and energy weapons. Artificial intelligence is at the core of the Tempest concept. The jet will analyze massive amounts of battlefield data, act as a virtual co-pilot, and even take over certain tasks to reduce the pilot's workload. This is part of what's called human-machine teaming, where the aircraft becomes a partner rather than just a machine. And through digital twin technology, every Tempest will have a virtual version running simulations in real time, predicting wear, failures, and upgrades before they happen. Now, why does this matter? By the 2040s, current platforms like the Typhoon will be outdated, while rivals like China and Russia are already pushing their own sixth-generation designs. The Tempest is Britain's answer to ensure it doesn't just keep pace, but stays ahead. Yes, the program will be expensive, but it's also a massive investment in jobs, technology, and security. In the end, the Tempest isn't just about building a fighter jet. It's about building the future of air combat. A machine that merges stealth, AI, drones, lasers, and adaptability into one platform. Thank you for watching Military Macheshk. This has been Military Macheshk, and I hope you enjoyed this look at the Bay Tempest, the fighter jet that could dominate the skies of tomorrow. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment with your thoughts on whether this aircraft can truly lead the next generation of air combat. Until next time, stay sharp, stay informed, and I'll see you in the next mission.